never really realized how important video could become to a private practice. I mean, it's not something that you get any training in whatsoever, certainly in the graduate program. I mean, you don't get any business training at all, let alone anything to do with marketing, and even more, let alone anything that would involve getting in front of a camera. Uh, certainly in my profession, things are often, you know, they're very private, they're behind closed doors, they're all about a, a, a relationship that's one-on-one. -on -one. But that's what gets interesting. So I started to have to play around because I knew I wanted to use uh, some kind of medium to get the message out there much more effectively and market much more effectively. And video does that. And it is a very intimate medium because it, it, it's a stand-in for you. I mean, you're, you're sitting here and I'm talking to you and I can actually put a camera right where you are and speak directly to that camera and develop a relationship. And then, of course, the beauty of that is that I have that feeling of talking to one person, but I can put it out there and talk to hundreds or thousands of people by using this wonderful world of internet and social media and all kinds of things like that. So, uh, but it did not come easy. It did not come quickly because there was no roadmap for me to follow. It was truly trial and error. So it's about taking a camera, shooting it, trying to find what works, uh, you know, how to, you know, whether you use one camera, two, you know, all of these different things that can go into this. So I had to get comfortable with that, and it was not a quick way. So I would absolutely recommend that if you're going to use video, and I recommend that you do use video, that you have to find a roadmap and not just do trial and error the way I did. I had an interesting experience when I read Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers. He talks that an expert is someone who has spent 10,000 hours learning, experiencing, growing in something. And I kind of reverse engineered that for myself and went back to look at my life. That as a child, I started on the stage when I was six. And I started using video when I was 11. We had a man there who is a, was a scientist for DuPont. And one of the things he was working on, this is so cool, looking back on it in particular, was the creation of videotape. And this is when a home videotape machine was like this, and it was 75 pounds, and you had to take it off of one reel and reel it through, and then wrap it around before the video would work. And we would take rehearsals at the theater and record them, and then play them back, so that the actors could learn what they were doing. I'm not putting my hand up like this. Oh, yes, you are. There it is in the video. So I was shown as a young boy how to use video, and it has been something, it's been a lesson for me that I've been so glad that I've had all along because I had someone showing me the value of video and how to use it.